Konnichiwa YouTube, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Soundwave. And I don't have the package for this, it's going to be a quick review and hey, I'm trending with this uh, Soundwave motif. I love it because it has this, uh, what do you call this? Laser beak. Yeah. Okay, cool. Here we go. I'll have the package. Uh, not the package. I love the fact that it uh, has little translucent mirrors, or sorry, uh, windshield. So it's pretty cool. Translucent, translucent. Yeah, you can see through it, kind of. Uh, I don't like back over here. Could have used more paint apps. I had the little tape deck symbol here. Could have colored that in. Uh, There's one thing about the animated line I don't like. It, it, it colors the panel lines really well. I mean, it's really well constructed in that sense, but. More paint apps on the back could have been nice. I love the power button here. I love the gold. The neon green here. Tape deck motif here. The fast forward, rewind, whatever that is. Back in the day, play buttons. Very G1 homage like. I love the gold there. Neon green looking good. From the bottom, hides robot extras really well. So it's looking good. Neon on the hubcaps. Red or blue on that too as well. And it rolls well. It does what it does and it looks good. 8 out of 10. And laser beak is a nice little extra too. So let's go ahead, transform them, and this time I hopefully I'm not gonna break this. So next thing we're gonna do is just pop that off. Good. And we're gonna split the arms apart. Good. Yep, we're doing good so far. Alright. Now we're just gonna put the legs up. Put this portion up right here. Alright. Gonna pull the legs down. But first, I forgot, is that make sure we move these pieces out of the way. There we go. I like that. It's kind of cool. We'll move that out of the way for now. Good. Leg pieces just move out and it just covers up just like that. So it's looking good. Leg pieces good out. Rotate that waist 180 and these things just fold down and then we're going to move the legs 180. Kind of a weird convoluted transformation. I wish it had some heel spurs but it should be able to stand up on its own. I'm going to move the arms down and I'm going to move that like that. So tape deck. And we're gonna just thrust this. And I can hardly ever get this right. So hopefully thrust that up. Clicks on. Beautiful. Next thing, head goes down. Yeah. Let's see. And the wheels for added just flip on to the side. Very neat, nice looking, clean looking dude, actually. Oh, one thing I forgot. Duh. <laughs> is this fist there we go and I, I, I like that they thoughtfully put a little tab over here so it flips out molded in fists and let me see I wonder if I think you can hold his axe it's supposed to hold his axe there were tabs here for that oh yeah I thought they were tabbed up but I know you can hold his axe I forgot I know I've seen pictures of him holding his axe Let's see I know Laserbeak can stand on his, whatchamacallit. He just has these little tabs, so. I think I want to just cheat a little. There we go. Yeah, it's cheating a little, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, rock out. <laughs> that's all right. So that's cool. Transform laser beak. If your hand or what you call it don't fall off, and put the what you call it. Yeah. There it goes. Has a little tab right here, and the sucker can perch on his. He's got little tabs right there where his feet just perch, right. Just like so. There we go. Yeah, beautiful. 
So yeah. As for well, as far as articulation, head does move. I think it's on a ball joint. No, nah, it just moves out. Shoulders are weird. They move up. Kinda interrupted. Shoulders move up to side to side. They got a weird double jointed elbow. No bicep swivel. Or I guess double jointed elbow. Wrists kind of move out. Waist swivel. Ball jointed hip. I love the eject tape jack. Alright. Knee swivel. Ball jointed knee. And kind of a weird ankle. He'll stand up. Sort of. Ugh. In fact, he's kind of flimsy because of that. Because he's so freaking top heavy. Don't expect him to stand up with laser beak. So let me just rest him so he's much better looking. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Size comparison. I got him here. There's good old Decepticon, whatever his name is. <laughs> Megatron, only the leader. And there's good old G1. So he's a squat little dude. G1 won't be able to stand up. Let's focus on G1. So you can see the comparisons. Alright. Robot mode, 7 out of 10. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I'll catch you all next time.